Okay, welcome back. Everyone's going to capitalize you. Welcome back to StarCraft 2. This is uh, another one of my little league games. It's back on the EU ladder this time. So I'm down here in the southeast. Based on Azurg. And up here in the northwest, we have my opponent. This is Le Cruz Mecca. Again, playing as Zerg as well. So a little ZVC. I've been playing a fair amount on the um, US ladder recently. Um, been jumping back and forth. I'm in platinum on both. Um, but there's a big difference between the two. So I'm using sort of one to learn how to deal with certain things from the other, which is it's working quite well, actually, to be honest. But here we go. So to begin with, we have production here. We're both going for just overlord at the minute. I have the extra drone. He doesn't. He does get his overlord up very slightly earlier than me, but. I've also got this on the way now to expand down there. So my natural is up a lot quicker than his. There you go. He has nothing he's building at the moment. I'm building that. I'm now building two links to catch him back up. So not to this future, we'll be ahead. He's sending this guy down now to expand. So all in all, I'm very slightly ahead. So not by a lot, but you can see... Go for the, uh, the it puts me uh, the expansion trick. It puts me behind very slightly at the beginning, but by this point I'm ahead. Yeah, that's coming down. Right, he's going for his spawning pool a bit quicker than me. Again, I'm just like, it's mine now, so not that far behind. Gas the same. He's now beaten three more links to put him, you know, one ahead. After that one, so again we'll have caught up quite nicely. However, he does have this link across the map. Thing. Drone, just keeping an eye on everything. Should see I've expanded. Yep, you can see everything. So you can have a good look around and see exactly what's going on. One, two, and three. So this last one here will pop and come down to here. Just carry on mining. No, oh, sent him off that way. Now the only thing I'm doing really at the moment is watching him just in case he's going to turn it into a um, spine crawler. Which has been used as a tactic before. Here you got Kogan's wings as a symbol down here. This actually looks quite cool. The uh, some of the buildings for this mech skin. Here we go. We're both going for queens. I'm going for two. He's going for one. Okay. So at the moment, though, everything is pretty much the same. Hmm. I've got a slight advantage, slight lead in. The amount of units I've got out and about, he's got a slight monetary lead. So that tells you where I'm putting mine to where he's putting his. I'm going to have to turn that music down a bit. Right, let's pause this a sec. That is way too loud. Oh, that's why it's back up 100. Normally keep it down there. That's better. Okay, he's chasing away my overlord. Which I got a little bit too stupid with and left way too deep. Which I really should not have done. But there we go. So I'm supply blocked. But I'm on 36 out of 28. He's on 28 out of 36. So. <laughs> yes. He's building a few links. I've already got my links up. A couple of links up. He's also building a roach. Lair. There it is. Roach to Warren. So he's going to go for early roaches. And he's going for an evo chamber early. So he's going to do. I would say, looking at that, he's going to do wait for a timing attack on plus one roaches. Where basically you wait until your roaches click onto plus one and then attack across the map. I'm going for Ling speed. He hasn't done that. So again, that indicates he's not planning on using Ling's. He's looking for roaches. He's going to go for a big roach push. Now normally this would be when you go for A. No, he's going for a lair first. Okay, so he's going to go for speed and plus one. Okay. But normally he'd still start, well then again, he hasn't really, that's me. He's got the gas, he's got the money, so I don't know why he's not pressing it yet. Unless I am completely misreading this. Just going for double gas down there. I am not as yet. Pulling this guy out, comment why I did that. There you go, Baining Nest. Okay, Roaches are on the way. I've gone for Overlord speed, so I can move my Overlords around a little bit. Just 
Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm going for the extra gas. Got Bailey's there. We go. Plus one is on the way, so I haven't misread this. It looks like there we go. He's just saving up for speed and for plus one, and then he's going to try and basically build up a, a critical mass of roaches just to stomp across the map and smash me before I get up and running with roaches of my own. In production, we have Bailing's nest and roach warren net. So I've got plenty of links, speed links as well. And here we go, he's building up a small force here, I mean, he's got one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Well, what I have here would be able to deal with that, without too much of a problem. These things, well, maybe not without a problem, but they would be able to chew through eight roaches without too much of a stop, without too much stopping them. Okay, I've already got my lair up. I'm also building um, Evo chambers of my own. There we go. Wall of Evo chambers. Just give him something that he's got to go round or through. There you go. He's building more roaches. These don't look like they're not speed roaches just yet. Now they are. And he's getting plus one carapace as well. I'm pumping out a few roaches of my own. There we go, my Evo chambers are up. I've got loads of cash to spend. I really should be spending it better than I am. But I'm just getting a creature humor. There we go, I'm getting plus one, plus one, plus one of my own. And I'm going for a Hydra Dem. I do I remember I can place G this time. But at the moment, in yes, there we go. I've pressed it. There we go. And now in units, I've got 7 roaches and 24 links to 22 roaches. In production, I have 3 more roaches, so I'm going to have 10 roaches in a minute. He's got plus 1 attack. I do not. Okay, so we're going to pull back with our links. Because that many roaches, we can't fight on our own. But what we can do is force him into a concave where I've got a defender's advantage here. He's spraying targets, I'm tapping which one I want to attack, so I'm um, focus firing, he's not. And look at things, he's just A clicking. There we go, so now we're just going to push him back. He's going for plus two attack. He's very early. This is a mistake on his part. He should really be pushing all of those up. He could have got through if he'd have pushed the whole lot up. But again, I'm focus firing down each one. He's spraying. I can tell because I've got a lot of injured. He doesn't really. Zergling. There we go. My Zergling are now going to overtake. And drop back and just try and pepper them a little bit. Try and eat as many of them as we can. And then we're just going to do the same again because Lings are quick. Oh, that one just survived. But at the moment as well, we have the next part of the play here. Have hydras. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, hydras are very, very good at the moment for Zerg. We're getting both of upgrades on them. They are very, very powerful at the minute. I really should be upgrading better. I'm keeping up my upgrades here, but never mind. I've got way too much money banked. Okay. Seven more overlords. So obviously I'm getting close to supply. Here we go. So we've got Lings at the front, which he is trying to kill, which is what they're there for. They're basically a meat shield. We have roaches and we have hydras in the back. He's going for tunneling claws. Now the problem with tunneling claws is it's like uh, link speed. It is actually visible. It changes the model. So you can see it when it's there. Okay, I'm going for now my fourth base. That'll be my fifth hatch. He has four bases but only four hatches. So he's not used the micro hatch. Which obviously is something... If you've been around here for a while, you'll know I do an awful lot. We're both going for spires. I'm pumping out an awful lot of hydras. And he comes. 
Now this is a bad move. He sent a large majority, in fact probably all of his roaches down here. Trying to kill off my base here. And upgrades. He's got the extra attack. But only one carpet. I've got the same carpet, but I'm doing slightly less damage. But my hydrogen and my roaches are chewing through. There we go, so he's now got nothing left. And what did he get out of that? Eight drones which I can and am easily replacing. He's now going for plus three attack. So he really is powering that through. But at the moment he's so far behind on supply that it's not going to make that much of a difference. I mean 16 roaches to 15 and 22, that's his problem at the moment. Now I'm going for 222. He's going for Hydrodem. We're both going for Spires. But I think for different reasons. Okay, here we go. We're going to make a hole in this wall. Get a few Corruptors out. Just to hunt down his Overlords. Move them from, the, uh, from being able to see everything. And here we come now in units. 16 versus 19 and 29, so he doesn't really have enough units to fight me. Here we go. Here we go, we're going to take out his creep, and then we're going to remove this rock. Because we don't want this narrow fight here. There we go, so now we can get up properly. And we are in. Let's take a look, can we win this fight? He does have better units than me. Just for the minute. And he GG's. There we go. And victorious. Okay, so let's quickly go back through that one and see what happened. Um, so, first of all, let's take a look what happened. That first push of his, that timing push, didn't work. Mostly, if he'd have pushed up when he had the units sat here and the couple of units that he pushed up through this rock, he could have taken it. Or if on the first assault he'd have actually just pushed up to here and smashed this rock, like I did on the on the return, to get all of his units in, because I was forming just concave here and he couldn't fight back. Um, so that was what I think cost him. Now let's take a look at what did he do wrong. Um, again, just not committing half on that timing attack and never really having enough forces with Zerg. You'd need a lot more units than he ever got up to. Um... You know, having 51 drones is good, but, you know, he hasn't got enough around here. What did he do well? His upgrades were, were brilliant. You could tell he had a, a thought process and a plan of action coming through. Um, he was sticking to it well. Um, so his upgrades were very, very good. Um, but, yeah, and income-wise, yeah, all the way through we were neck and neck through, through that. So what did I do wrong to start with. Let's have a look. My creep spread was atrocious. Again. It's something I'm working on. It's better than it has been, but it's still not as good. Um, other than that, I think again, just a bit slow on my upgrades, a bit slow on keeping up, which I really need needed to do, because uh, he was miles ahead on upgrades. But what did I do right? I had weight of numbers. I got slightly ahead during the economic phase of the game, which is what I needed to do during the early part. And yeah, from there I was expanding, keeping ahead on slightly ahead on expansions, keeping slightly ahead on just about everything really. Um let's have a look at the Obviously that's not what I'm after. APM. So again, I'm averaging slightly faster than him as well through the game. But yeah. So what did I do right in this instance was keeping enough keeping up my upgrade, remembering the right upgrades, keeping my upgrades going even though I really wasn't keeping up with him on it but also having more units was needed um, I said in the other game the value of upgrades in another game where you've got less units you can still do a lot of damage now the problem is is that you know I tech switched to hydras a lot quicker than he did so by the time he's producing just a few hydras I've already got a fairly large sizable army of them and only one of them has taken any damage the roaches are soaking roaches are good at that I mean they have 145 health 90 you know, these guys are small and they're armoured. These guys are light, so... You know, hydras are a lot easier to kill than roaches. Um, so having my switch to hydras earlier... 
and having all the roaches, you know, using the lings as meat shield for the roaches because the lings are a lot cheaper. Then switching so that lings and roaches were acting as meat shields basically for my hydras who are doing damage from range. Uh, especially with that plus one range on them as well, which we'd already done. The plus one range and the uh, speed. So yeah, that switching tech at the right time is really handy. Um, it's not just upgrades, it's composition that wins your matches. And in this case I was using the roaches basically as a shield for my hydras. Um, the big roach push is a good tactic and it still can work quite well. But unfortunately in this instance I was just too far ahead of him to, for, to make, it, make it work. Right. So anyway, that's that. Now, a couple of quick questions. Uh, first answer, uh, where the fuck have you been the end of last week? Yeah, I'm really sorry. Um, it's I'm being forced to be um, a productive member of society again, so I'm actually starting work again this Wednesday um, for the first time in about a year. So, yeah, um, I've been kind of busy doing bits and pieces for that, getting things sorted, so for that I am sorry, but, um, yeah, it's not going to be enough to, to... It shouldn't interfere too much this week, so I should be back to normal, hopefully. Um... But yeah, and also Bug and Bucket will be coming back, don't worry, it's just, just I haven't had time to sort that. Um, but we'll have something new coming to the channel this week as well, um, so I hope you uh, enjoy that, but we'll see where that kind of goes uh, from here on in. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there. So again, thanks for your time, I hope you enjoyed this game, and like I said, keep your eye out for more, um, there may be more of these during the week, just depends on whether I get a chance to play or not. But yeah, I am still playing on both ladders, US and European, and uh, this was from the EU ladder. And it was a pretty good game. But yeah. So anyway, I'm going to leave that there. But again, thanks for your time. And for the minute, I've been Cappadocia. Signing off.